Hello friends, welcome to Pharmacam Insights. In this video, you are going to see question answers on stability which will help you in your interview preparation. So let's get started. First question, what is the primary objective of stability testing for drug substances and products? The answer is, the primary objective is to provide evidence on how the quality of a drug substance or product varies with time under the influence of environmental factors such as temperature, humidity and light and to establish a shelf life and recommended storage conditions. Next question. What are the common environmental conditions used in stability chambers? So answer is Common conditions include long term 25 degrees Celsius plus minus 2 degrees Celsius, 60 percentage plus minus 5 percentage RS that is humidity, intermediate 30 degrees Celsius plus minus 2 degrees Celsius, 65 percentage plus minus 5 percentage RS humidity, and accelerated 40 degrees Celsius plus minus 2 degrees Celsius. 75 percentage plus minus 5 percentage RH humidity storage conditions. Next question, what are the typical storage conditions used in long term stability testing? So answer is, according to ICH guidelines, typical long term storage conditions are 25 degree Celsius plus minus 2 degree Celsius with 60 percentage plus minus 5 percentage RH humidity for temperature climates but can vary based on the climatic zone example 30 degree Celsius plus minus 2 degree Celsius with 65 percentage plus minus 5 percentage RH humidity for tropical climates. Next question describe accelerated stability testing and its purpose. Accelerated stability testing involves storing the drug substance or product at elevated stress conditions, example 40 degree Celsius plus minus 2 degree Celsius with 75 percentage plus minus 5 percentage humidity to predict its long term stability in a shorter period. This helps in estimating the self life and identifying potential degradation pathways. Next question. What is intermediate stability testing and when it is required? Intermediate stability testing is conducted at condition example 30 degree Celsius plus minus 2 degree Celsius with 65 percentage plus minus 5 percentage humidity that fall between long term and accelerated testing. It is required if significant changes are observed during accelerated testing to better understand the product stability under moderate conditions. Next question, what is the significance of stress testing in stability studies? Stress testing subjects the drug substance or product to extreme conditions, example heat, light, moisture, oxidation to identify degradation pathways and the products formed aiding in understanding its chemical behavior under stress. Next question, how do photostability studies contribute to stability testing? The answer is, photostability studies determine the effect of light exposure on the drug substance or product, ensuring it remains stable and retains its quality attributes when exposed to light during storage, handling and use. Next question, how do you determine the frequency of testing in a stability study? So answer is, the frequency of testing is determined based on ICH guidelines and the specific stability study design. Common intervals include initial 3, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 24 months followed by annual testing that is yearly. Next question. What are the ICH climatic zones and how they affect stability testing? ICH climatic zones categorize region based on their environmental conditions, example temperature, humidity. Stability testing conditions are adjusted based on the zone where the product 
will be marketed to ensure stability under relevant conditions next question explain the difference between stability testing for drug substances and drug products so answer is stability testing for drug substances focuses on the active pharmaceutical ingredient api in its pure form while stability testing for drug products evaluates the final dosage form which includes the api along with excipients and packaging next question what are the typical test parameters monitored during stability testing typical test parameters monitored during stability testing include physical appearance sa degradation products dissolution rate moisture content ph and microbial limits next question what are the different types of stability studies the main types are long term stability studies accelerated stability studies intermediate stability studies and stress testing next question which conditions are typically used in accelerated stability studies common conditions are 40 degree celsius plus minus 2 degree celsius and 75 percentage plus minus 5 percentage relative humidity for 6 months next question how is the stability indicated method defined a stability indicating method is an analytical method that accurately and precisely measures the active ingredients and degradation products without interference from other compounds next question what is stress testing and why is it conducted stress testing involves exposing the drug substance or product to extreme conditions example high temperature humidity light oxidation to identify potential degradation pathways and products next question what are ich guidelines and how they relate to stability testing ich international council for harmonization guidelines provide standardized procedure for stability testing to ensure consistent and reliable results across different regions what are degradation products and why are they important degradation products are compounds resulting from the chemical breakdown of the drug substance they are important to monitor because they can affect the safety and efficacy of the drug product next question how do you determine the shelf life of a pharmaceutical product Self life is determined by analyzing stability data and identifying the time period during which the product remains within its specified limits for all quality attributes. Next question what is meant by the term expiration date The expiration date is the date until which a drug product is expected to remain within its approved specifications when stored under defined conditions how do you select the storage conditions for stability studies the answer is storage conditions are selected based on the intended market and climatic zones following ich guidelines for long term intermediate and accelerated conditions next question what is the difference between real time and accelerated stability studies answer is real time studies evaluate the stability of a product under actual storage condition over its intended shelf life while accelerated studies use elevated conditions to predict long term stability in a shorter time next question why is it important to test multiple batches during stability studies Testing multiple batches ensures that the stability results are representative and reproducible, covering potential variability in the manufacturing process. Next question: What are the common physical changes observed in stability studies? Common physical changes include changes in color, texture, hardness, and dissolution rate, as well as the appearance of precipitates or phase separations. next question what is meant by significant change in stability testing 
So answer is a significant change is an important or remarkable change in any physical or chemical condition of the pharmaceutical product. Example, a 5% change in assay from its initial value is a significant change. Next question, what documentation is required for stability studies? So answer is stability studies require detailed documentation including protocols, raw data, analytical results, statistical analysis, final report to ensure regulatory compliance and support the product self-life claims. Thank you. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section. Bye.